lista de ausentes. Por favor, ven a la cámara.
10, 15 y tenemos 6 miembros del concilio presentes. Por favor, los miembros del concilio bajan para poder empezar las presentaciones o conocimientos de algunos de los ciudadanos que ya están aquí para ser parte del concilio. Vamos a empezar la sesión del concilio, tenemos nueve de los presentes. Y Bruno no va a entrar en el momento. Y como es de costumbre, desde el concilio de la Junta, los viernes empezamos con reconocimientos y presentaciones de los constituyentes de la ciudad de Campo de Vida, el servicio público valuable y también empleados de la ciudad. Entonces vamos a empezar hoy. Una presentación de Jorge Luis 
Professor Garcetti va a ser la primera presentación. Entonces, vamos a reconocer ahorita al Professor Garcetti. Buenos días, señora Presidenta, colegas, miembros del público y también es el Consejo de la Presidencia. Tengo una presentación hoy para reconocer un buen trabajo de un número de gentes que han ayudado a dar un nombre, a ayudar a los indigentes de nuestra gente que vive en casas en la ciudad y que, como el Consejo, empezó bajo su tiempo, lo que el alcalde probable, pero no quiera. La madre suelta que ahora se expandió como junto al Consejo de Ayuda del Consejo de Ayuda del Consejo de Ayuda Es un programa por todos los años para shelter a la gente para hacer hogares, para reconocer el trabajo de muchos socios que han hecho esto pasar. Les añadimos más fondos que nunca. Para muchos diferentes lugares, para estar seguros de que la gente tenga algún lugar para donde ir, que no estén expuestos a los elementos y que tengan respeto de cuidado. Pero indigentes, y yo sé que Jan Perry ha sido una gran líder sobre esta cuestión, ofreciendo muchas de las emociones que han hecho esto pasar. Y si es una voz sin cansancio, y dura la gracia y ayuda. Tengo que también quiero estar con la presentación. Vamos a ver este programa, vamos a estar aquí para hablar un mes. Pero antes del día de gracias, la ya pasó el servicio de gente, es el municipio de Dante más grande en el sistema. Ha sido el último momento y necesitan un lugar para ocupar 200 camas de indigentes. La nueva imagen del shelter es el municipio de Dante más grande para soportar las camas. Yo dije sí, pero ahora el centro no es grande para ir. So Brenda, Linda, and their team with Scott Milburn from Lhasa flew into town and got to work at a breakneck speed, introducing themselves, community meetings, to neighbors, charming the neighbors, installing bathrooms, loading cots and blankets, designing the pickup groups where we would take folks from the streets into the shelter each night and then be able to bus them back. Um, the next day, and installing a kitchen. I might add that they work through the Thanksgiving holiday themselves. I know a lot of people volunteer their time for the homeless on Thanksgiving, but they work straight through that holiday so that by the first week of December, 400 plus homeless people had a place to sleep and get a hot meal at the new image shelter. And since then, most nights the shelter was filled beyond capacity. They actually had to turn people away. About 50 to 60 people a night. When the council took a last minute action in March to extend the shelter's funding for an additional month of council member Perry's motion, New Image and their staff scrambled to extend their lease and to keep the show going. When we did the same thing a month later, they did the same thing once again. Una vez más, cuando finalmente en mayo tomamos esto, para su historia que para todo el año con el programa, creo que los cuates, viendo que tenían alguna mesa real por los próximos seis meses, que no sabían, solo empezaron que eso estaba haciendo, se había tenido que moverse otra vez al final de junio. Por cierto, también el propio equipo que trabajaron para otro lado, I should also, as an aside, recognize the help of the Union Rescue Mission for filling in with the extra beds for those few days between when the Hollywood Shelter had closed and when the new Broadway Shelter was ready to open. So as you're ending your service in the 13th, we will be able to do this for the time being. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you about my staff on behalf of the many residents of this city who do not have homes who were able to find a bed in Hollywood. And thank you for the work that you do for the people of Los Angeles every single day. What you do makes a difference between hope and despair for thousands of people in our city. And I'd like to individually recognize the organizations and individuals who made this possible because it really was a team effort for this East Hollywood site. So, first, allow me to present the certificate to the new image shelter. And we have special ones for the twins. So the first of three, also for Brenda. We have the first of three, also for Brenda. Wilson and Linda Moran, Linda Moran, the dynamic duo who, dynamic duo with duo outpouring of their help for this city, just do tremendous, tremendous work. Thank you very much. Gracias. Let's give them a round of applause.
Also, Sylvia Lozano, the shelter manager of the Manager Tall Recite, who has given more than five years of service to New Image. While she's a paid staff member of New Image, she goes above and beyond. She's a staff member who then volunteers on top of that more than 20 hours a week at the shelter of her home time. So please give her a round of applause. Thank you. 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 Lena Cardwell, who you may recognize as an actress, has a number of roles on the network, television, and in movies. Since December, has been on TV six to eight hours daily at the Image Shelter, and has been given more than one of the top five roles in the show. Lena Cardwell, who you may recognize as an actress, has a number of roles on the television, and in movies. Since December, has been on TV six to eight hours daily at the Image Shelter, and has been given more than one of the top five roles in the show. And of course, the Los Angeles Home of Services Authority, represented today by Deputy Director Robin Connerly, Luis Sierra, Jennifer Perez, and Scott Milborn. And if I can just give this to one of them. Hold on one sec. I want to give a special moment to recognize Scott Milborn for his work as the Director of the Winter Shelter Program countywide. I know that our East Hollywood site gave him more than a share of headaches in this job. Ruined many vacation plans, no doubt, and not also his mental health, but we've got a spectrum of care for him, too. Scott is a man of many talents, whose job ranges from program management to policy advocate and plumbing inspector. So what we call this an emergency shelter program, because there's always some emergency of some sort. Scott has dealt with all of them, and for that, we thank you, especially for this. One last, but certainly not least, acknowledgement. I'd like to thank the Los Angeles Fire Department, uh, Fire Station Number Six. This team responded countless times to medical emergencies in the Los Angeles Fire Department. They already had a tough enough job, but we had the shelter come. Their neighbor, they never flinched. They never hesitated to give care to these important residents of Los Angeles. Between last December and this June, they treated over 100 shelter clients in need of emergency medical attention. We can't take enough opportunities to thank the fire departments for the work they do every single day here in Los Angeles. You're a true hero each day, and I'm glad to get this opportunity in a small way to thank you for all the help that you did. So please give a round of applause for our partner, Station Number 6. Thank you. 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 Um, thank you very much, Mr. President. I really appreciate the fact that you recognize the contributions of everyone standing with you today, but in particular, uh, uh, I hate just to call them the twins, because they do have separate identities. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but the, the great thing about working with them is you get doubly impact, impact, and uh, they both focus on the same thing on this issue that we're all grappling with, and probably uh, more than anyone else, you and I, uh, in the 13th and the 13th, probably more than anyone else, you and I, in the 13th and the 13th, and myself and the ninth uh, are dealing with it uh, at a much higher level than uh, the rest of the city. And, uh, I thank you to the Department and the Fire Department, Department for what you have done as well. I want to say thank you to both of you ladies and to the volunteers, because uh, you, more than anyone, realize that homelessness has no boundaries. And for you to be able to take your abilities, your resources, your energy, to be able to cross-pollinate with the issues of the birds at the 13th, and to solve those as well, is a tremendous impact, and then your willingness to take care of others as if they were your own family members, which is why por eso es que estamos en Augusto en Abre en Nuevo Chante en mi propio distrito bajo su supervisión. Entonces, gracias. Gracias, Abre. Y con la bienvenida a la Cancel del Consejo de Nuevo Chante, al Consejo de Nuevo Chante. Mi primer día de regreso. Nada más quiero pararme también. En las cuantas carreteras de la conferencia que soportaba desde ese programa que hace de veras ha venido desde su excepción. Estamos proveyendo de los servicios, servicios a los dirigentes, a los pueblos de individuos como usted que no han sendado y siguen proveyendo ese servicio, reconocer el reto para traerlos hoy aquí. Las cosas que han hecho ayudar a los ancianos más que han ido mis dos centavos y ver todas las y el grupo de servicios espero que el programa sea de carácter para el programa de Permanent housing, uh, transitional housing, people on the streets, uh, Los Angeles. I wanted to also congratulate you. Thank you very much for your hard work. Thank you, Ms. Gruel. Thank you, Ms. Gruel. Thank you, Ms. Gruel. Thank you, Ms. Gruel.
Y les lo dije antes de que me vergüenza, pero esto no siempre es un saludo de gracias por hacer esto. Vamos a repasar esto. Brenda Olenda pareciera algo. Y vamos a agarrar el micrófono. Me gustaría decir buenos días a todos, miembros del Consejo. Bueno. Oh, no, esto es Brenda. Okay. Um, I, I, first of all, let me yeah, just say that without this, this, without the support of all of you, and certainly uh, Councilman Garcia, uh, I don't know what we would have done, but to make you show some of the work or see some of the work that we've done, let me just briefly say, out of the more than 7,000 uh, homeless that we have served in the shelter, we have been successful with mainstreaming homeless. 800 back into jobs at affordable housing. Certainly could not have done it without you. Ms. Wilson, was that 7,000 duplicated? And duplicated. And Ms. Wilson, approximately how many were duplicated? Oh, close to 80,000. Okay, thank you very much. Let me just take one brief minute off, though. When the shelter was extended, we have a client advisory board that represents all the clients in the shelter that's comprised of two Hispanics, two male people, put it that way, two of everything. And so they came together and they said, can we please do something special to let the council member know how much we appreciate the assistance of this program? And I do talk to you. And I'm going to continue to talk to you. Thank you very much. 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 Sí. So this CAB, as we call it, the Client Advisory Board, is exactly that. It's a voice for the shelter and the clients. And we meet weekly. And since they wanted to do something, this is what they came up with. Let me introduce you, first of all, to two of our clients. David, David, and Sandra. Thank you very much. 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 Pero es un honor enfrente de ustedes aquí. Mi socio Frank y yo queremos prestarle unas tarjetas a nuestros clientes en el CERTE. Saben, parece que en el tiempo no todos estaban preocupados por sus presupuestos y así que puede ver las maravillas que no nos han extendido tanto tiempo por no jalar, pero nos movieron más otra vez a Los Ángeles. Dios bendiga a todos ustedes por eso, porque es el tiempo ahora. Para eso todos están poniendo sus sentados y no deberías bien ayudar a la gente indigente. Y debería ser una cosa maravillosa que hicieron. Y tiene mucho gusto y apreciación. Todas las noches llenamos todo el edificio donde estamos ahora. It's good to be able to come to places beyond the weather when it's cold, or out to direct sunlight when it's really hot. It's good to have a place to call home. Some of you have really missed for a long time, and I just want to thank you for all the work you've done. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you so, we have this card here, this one says, this is one of those times when saying thank you just doesn't seem enough. And this is all of our, that's us. That's us. All of our, that's us. 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 Y aquí hay otra, más quiero decir que desde que he estado aquí he visto clientes numerosos y mil de las que se irán a trabajar cerca, se los vi entre sus familias y de verse aprecian, yo también lo aprecio. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Gracias, gracias, Scott Milburn from Los Angeles Homeless Services. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. On behalf of the Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority, I would like to thank the Mayor of the City Council of Los Angeles for their diligent commitment and energy and the effort they have put forward to expand and emergency shelter services to men, women, and children in need of modern care. Los Angeles Homeless Services has been working with the Mayor and the Mayor of the City Council of Los Angeles for the past few months have truly been remarkable. With the extension of the Winter Shelter Program, the commencement of the 10-year plan to end homelessness, it is evident that there is a new vision for the city to develop strategies that will end homelessness in Los Angeles, not simply manage the 
fixed the problem. Every night since the program was extended, most providers have been either 10 or 12 percent above capacity. This means that over 900 people each night do not have to sleep on the streets. They have access to a safe place to sleep, eat, shower, and obtain basic social services. For this, lots of life to thank Mary Ron, who has been with the city, Councilmember Jan Perry, Councilmember Wendy Grohl, for their leadership, commitment, and vision to this issue. We would also like to recognize the Council of Mayoral staff members, Beatrice Shue, Kathy Godfrey, Leslie Palmer, and Sarah Dussault, for their hard work in making this program a success. I would like to thank lots of staff members who are here, and New Image, of course, for their efforts in Hollywood. We are very grateful to receive Council's recognition for the Winter Shelter Program and specifically the Winter Shelter Site. We look forward to our continued partnership and our further progress to inevitably ending homelessness in Los Angeles. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I just, uh, in closing, I just want to thank the community for their understanding. Um, and though Scott beat me to it, the issue for my staff for her, her great leadership on this floor. Oh, and I'd like to hear one last speech from the team. No, no. Hi, I'd, uh, <coughs> excuse me, just like to take a moment to introduce the members of the fire department that are here today. First of all, Battalion Chief Rick Garcia, who is commander of the 11th Battalion. Engine Company 6 is within his command. And I'd like to have Captain Takashika come up and introduce the members of his crew. Good morning, Council. Uh, members of the uh, Engine Company 6 is uh, my engineer, Engineer Steve Chicano. Firefighter Robert Smith. And Firefighter uh, Ryan Jones. And finally, uh, thanks to the Council for recognizing the work that Engine Company 6 does. Uh, they're out there 24-7. We never close. And on a day-to-day -day basis, your firefighters are out there taking care of business. So it's really appreciated when you, when you recognize them for the, for the work that they do. So thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Councilmember Garcetti and the shelter providers. Um, I'm going to recognize Councilmember Bond for an introduction of a class. Councilmember Bond is going to be leading the class. Yes, members, I'll be happy to introduce the Council President Alex Padilla, who's going to be leading the class. I'm going to recognize the Council President Alex Padilla, who's going to be leading the class. I'm going to recognize the Council President Alex Padilla, who's going to El Dorado Avenue Elementary School. Please rise and be recognized by the Council of Presidents. We welcome you to Los Angeles City Hall and enjoy your visit. Thank you, Mr. Levant. I am going to recognize this time Council Member Jack Weiss for a very special presentation. Thank you, Madam President and colleagues. This is a very, very special morning for me and indeed for all of us. And I want to, I want to start by saying that with all due respect to all of you and with all due respect to all of your predecessors, I truly believe that I have the hardest job on this city council to truly believe that I have the hardest job on this city council to truly believe that I have the job on this city council to truly believe that I have the hardest job on this city council to truly believe that I have the hardest job on this city council to truly believe that I have the hardest job on this city council to truly believe that I have the hardest job on this city council to truly believe that I have the hardest job on this city council and just working backwards like Fuhrer said in his last class. Where does the tradition in my district begin? It begins right here in the person of Roswell Hunter Hall. Where did the tradition begin? It begins right here in the person of Roswell Hunter Hall. Where did the tradition begin? It begins right here in the person of Roswell Hunter Hall. Where did the tradition begin? It begins right here in the person of Roswell Hunter Hall. Where did the tradition begin? It begins right here in the person of Roswell Hunter Hall. Where did the tradition begin? It begins right here in the person of Roswell Hunter Hall. Where did the tradition begin? Jewish woman on the west side walked door to door, and Rosalind Weiner, then Rosalind Weiner, Weiner, became a member of the Los Angeles City Council. We're here to recognize that extraordinary achievement 50 years ago. Thank you, Council Member Bond. 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 
y el gran entre las grandes cosas de Ross es que se fue de verdaderamente el principio de 50 años de servicio no solo a los ángeles no solo a California pero a nuestra nación porque de ese momento para adelante Ross se hizo la persona que se va una persona que va a tener en nuestra ciudad nuestros países en los Estados Unidos un activista pivotal, pensadora, planeadora, persona que trajo tantas gentes juntas, incluyendo esa parte, incluyendo parientes de gente en este cuarto. Todos le debemos tanto a Russ. The floor this morning should be hers. I'm going to conclude very briefly by telling you that on Monday, Mayor Hahn and I are going to join with the Los Angeles Dodgers in honoring Ross Wyman. And here's how we're going to do it. I wanted to, when I learned that this was Ross's 50th anniversary as her election to a council member, I wanted to come up with something that would recognize her, but in a special way. You can as we learned, you can name street. Uh, you can do all sorts of things <laughs> to recognize people, but I wanted to come up with something that would recognize um, two of Roz's most significant passions in Los Angeles. First, Roz brought the Dodgers to Los Angeles. And the fact that I believe Dodgers blue, the fact that my kids believe Dodgers blue, Um, that blood, the bloodline starts right here. Aquí. And secondly, Roz's other extraordinary passion is children. It's our young people. It's, it's parks. parks. It's open space. It's, 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 it's the future of our kids in Los Angeles. And so Mayor Hahn and I, on Monday, are going to be at Chevy Hills, Hills Rancho, Rancho Park, Park, where we, along with the Dodgers, are going to dedicate the Wyman Diamond, a little league field in West Los Angeles, in honor of Roz. Roz and I am so looking forward to Monday, to be able 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 Really difficult that was, and how much you really worked the political arena to make sure that the Dodgers are here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am. You are probably the most important person here today. So I am.
Uh, with uh, R.W. on there for Ross Wine. Uh, the other thing I think uh, was interesting is that I believe the LA Times, uh, the day after you were elected, they had a man in the that said, it's a girl. So, uh, you know, we take it for granted nowadays, women uh, entering into this entrar en este punto de política, pero claramente cuando fue elegida fuera la noticia y fue historia. Estoy segura que mucha gente la vio usted en los años esperando si usted o no podría de veras tomar a ver este momento lo hizo sin duda. Y usted me ayudó ahí prácticamente cuando corrí para el Congreso, habló su casa, pero cuando vino el presidente Clinton lo ha hecho para tantos gente que quiere ser candidatos que quiere ser les dicen siempre ha salido y tratado de sacar al resto de nosotros para ser el oficial de la ley y por eso siempre está agradecida gracias gracias a una gran Gracias. Yo también quiero decir, presidente, que hoy es día que vamos a estar juntos con el concejal, pero también en la apertura de la UEMTA, y de todos los demás que van a estar en el lugar de esta ley de la ley, yo estoy con nosotros a la casa de Rancho Park. Concejal Park. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just want to say uh, hello to Roz and say thank you for what you've done for the city of L.A. and the fact that you have been a role model for so long, but also the role you've played in the different national convention that we've had a chance to work with you. We think that was one of the better conferences for the Democratic Party. It's something I would like to say is that, again, the whole role of bringing you together and bringing you to the event muy grande el asiento, entonces no es que no se vea dejar los que antes se ve San Patrick Cruz que está dentro de este hall es del concilio de la ciudad mi padre lo ha conocido por siempre y yo estoy hablando siempre en nuestra casa mientras yo esté en la escuela de San Patrick elemental y sigo haciendo trabajo que es un modelo para una ciudad entera y región en el país gracias muchas gracias por well, it is so wonderful to see you, Ron, as I was driving in this morning, and saw Jack White, uh, and I had baby in hand. Jack said, what a perfect day. Uh, for my first day back, you here, and all are you. Because really, Ron, you have been a trendsetter for so many women, a role model, and being the first uh, woman to have a child, and being in office, here in the city of Los Angeles, not only the first bathroom, but 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 the first bathroom, y demostrar que usted puede ir una madre para trabajar y siempre es una vida para cansarse pero el daño está en proceso de derechos a mujeres con tantas otras cosas yo como mujer en el Consejo de la Ciudad estoy orgullosa de decir que usted fue la primera en tantas diferentes maneras Jack debe ser una visita por reconocerla a usted Wonderful baseball diamond on Monday um, in his district. But uh, you are a legend um, to so many women. People ask about the law. Do you know all the things that she did? And I'm just so proud to be able to stand here today and really believe that those of us that are women can accomplish so much. And I'm proud to be able to stand here today and really believe that those of us that are women can accomplish so much. And I'm proud to be able to stand here today and really believe that those of us that are women can accomplish so much. And I'm proud to be able to stand here today and really believe that those of us that are women can accomplish so much. And I'm proud to be able to stand here today and really believe that those of us that are women can accomplish so much. Que no se da por vencida. Y además se atresoró nuestra amistad en los últimos años y espero años su venir. Espero me dé el consejo. Y como yo traté de balancear, madre y concilio, pero usted lo hizo yo y yo puedo hacerlo también. Felicitaciones. Y aprecio su liderazgo aquí en Los Ángeles. Usted es alguien que va a necesitar historia como una líder en Los Ángeles. Felicitaciones. Gracias. Gracias. Concejal Smith. Oh, okay, Councilmember Perry. Okay, Perry. Roz, I also want to thank you for being such a tremendous woman and such a tremendous leader. And I know that others have always said that you are a role model. But for me, you have been a role model for me. 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 You have been a
have led the way uh, uh, and uh, uh, defined uh, the space. And uh, it's a high standard uh, that uh, we've uh, set uh, for being a woman uh, activist in the city as large and as diverse as Los Angeles. And I just, and through all that we have lost in the United States, and I saw you used to go out to meet us for a mutual friend. And you were just wrong, walking down the street, in spite of everything that you've done for this entire city, you're still just a warm and kind person. And you're still just a warm and kind person. And you're still just a warm and kind person. And you're still just a warm and kind person. And you're still just a warm and kind person. And you're still just a warm and kind person. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know who you were until I heard more about the type of ravine play with uh, culture, culture class. And um, I realized what a tumultuous era must have been to have the first woman in council pushing such a big project. As painful as it was for many of those who were my district now, I'm not sure about your district, but it was. Eddie Roybal, the first woman in council to push such a big project. But it's funny how life has been so different now, it's not just the same. But it's funny how life runs in cycles and now it's just how it's been. It's moving to the next year. Instead of controversial issues, I'm going to wrap up. But for the most part, I just wanted to say thank you. I have a daughter. My first daughter is a woman. And I have a son. 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 Que tiene and, uh, esa representación y las historias que han pasado por los años de bajo el representante y compartidas por muchas gracias por la historia. Gracias. Gracias, gracias. Señor Presidente, buenos días. Un abrazo a la Muchas gracias, uh, María. Se han dicho en uno de los primeros 50 años de servicio. Es una gran cosa que poder tener. I just want to thank you. We talk about the Dodgers coming west. We have a whole chance to make it to the West. Because when the Dodgers left Brooklyn, the Dodgers left Brooklyn. The Bronx and Manhattan. All of a sudden, more people came west. They created a whole new country. And little did they know that this would be turned into a world war. I just think it's great to have done so much on the back of the background to help people who are not in the back of the background. Para atrás para ayudar a la gente como Juan Diablo, estudiando a una gran madre, poder hacer cosas en Chávez, en esto es su caricatura. Es una gran cosa, pero es un diferente tiempo y la cosa maravillosa ahora es de ser una líder que usted pudo empujar a otros más adelante. Más rápido que usted lo hubiera hecho cuando estaba en el juego, pero se ayudó. Les enseñó a otros cómo pegar home runs y servicios en comunidad y en el home runs en la gente cuando verá lo que quiere decir. I just want to thank you. I love reading history about Los Angeles. 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 I love reading history about Los Angeles.
con jabón. Y no teníamos dinero. Ganamos la primera con 1,500 dólares. Mi mamá y papá eran muy tenientes. Hagamos gratis, no tomamos todo eso, una barra de jabón. Y decidimos, ¿por qué no limpiamos la ciudad? Entonces, pagamos nuestro jabón. Y por esta tarjeta, 35 mil por 20 dólares. And we used those. So in the primary, we was a huge upset in those days, the LA Times really picked the candidates who won, and I wasn't to win, and uh, it was such an upset, and the headline said, it's a girl, when it was when I was elected, and then when the, I said, when I had gave birth, it was city dad gives birth. And uh, in my day, by the way, the fire people who were here, I'm sorry, they're gone, but my field office was in the fire department. And I thought it was a great place because people loved firemen, and they would come to the fire station to see me. And it was really, really nice. Uh, I had used to fight quite often with the chief of police in those days. Pelear con el jefe de uh, and, and in my day, uh, the league, the police and fire league would come down to see me and they wanted and they figured I was an easy touch. So one day they said, we can't breathe, Ross, we can't breathe. So I decided to have them open their collars so that they didn't have to wear a tie in summertime. It seems so simple, so simple. And the chief came after me. And in those days, the chief had files on all the city council members. But I had just graduated college, so he didn't have a file on me. So he said to me, though, you'll find this interesting, you have broken down the militarism of the police department by asking that their colors, that they could breathe in the summertime. In those days, they did traffic on the streets. And he said, you have broken down the whole police department. And I thought, uh oh, my time, I'm in trouble. So then, loving baseball, I didn't know the difference. I had a little baseball pool in City Hall, a dollar pool. My mother always had a pool. And the chief calls me back after a few months and says, ah, I have you. He says, you are I'm gambling in City Hall. And I said, Chief, if you want to bust me, bust me. But I said, you'll make me the most popular human being in Los Angeles. And he said, well, i got to think about it. So it didn't happen. But um, also, when I gave birth to my first child, Wendy, my friend, this is interesting. When I gave birth to my first child, we were in a fight for Rogers. And I had to show up. And so my husband, my seatmate, who said, sat with me for years was a man named Ellie Timberland. And he called Tim and he said, Tim, I'll never get down to City Hall and take her to the hospital. And I think she left and she was in labor. And well, those women know that it takes a long time. It takes hours. So I said, I had time, so I decided to come downtown. And he called Tim and he said, would you drive her? And Tim got so nervous that they called a, a police and fire league, a fireman who sat out here. And Tim went to the president of the council and said, well, this is in labor. I think we ought to get out of here. So they adjourned. So the, the fireman was sitting there waiting to take me. So fire department is always kind of my pets down here. But I did get to, to the, my biggest thing was could I go to opening day of the Dodgers? And the doctor kept saying, you haven't done anything I've asked you yet. And I said, and I made arrangements so he could get tickets and he didn't dare go. And then the delivery room, Wendy, I asked three questions. And I have a girl, because there's boys all over the family, yes. Did my husband survive? Yes. And could I go to opening day of the ball game? And the nurses in delivery said they've had strange questions asked, but that was the strangest question that they ever had. So my experience is I could spend a day telling you all about first and funny things that happened to me. And there were many. 
llevo bastantes, pero los de Andrés y todos están ocupados. Gracias, pues, de verdad están maravillosos. Y, y espero a, a buen mandarme y le doy gracias a Jack. Y quiero saber que todos, espero, van a tener respeto del Consejo de se merece. Trabajan duro, trabajan largo. Se, se les molesta y a veces un, un trabajo bastante dificultoso. Pero creo que el gobierno es algo que yo respeto toda mi vida. Mi madre y padre me dieron eso como joven. Y en, a la edad de dos estoy viendo yo de un poste de Franco Roosevelt. Yo no sé cuánta gente les pasa, pero ellos creían que fuertemente tener una farmacia de botica de papá, decían que el gobierno era bueno y yo he tenido suerte de poder compartir campañas para el senador Feinstein y para todo el demócrata que ha corrido para presidente. Y he encontrado que la política tiene un maravilloso alcance y dar entre la gente. Entonces les digo a ustedes, cuando es algo que es duro y todos los están gritando, hay buenos días y es buenos días, pero la ciudad de Los Ángeles está bien representada. El alcalde no está aquí, pero yo lo conocí a él también, como yo, desde que nació, y esto es la única que todavía le llama Jimmy. Y es un trabajo duro, es correr la ciudad. Y respeto a todos y les doy gracias por tomar tiempo de su horario para para reconocerme esta mañana. Thank you, Mr. Weiss. Uh, I would now like to recognize Council Members Perry and Labonge. For another special presentation. Mr. Labonge. Mr. Labonge. Where is Tom Labonge? Oh, thank you. Council members, um, Council Member Labonge and I are standing here today to make a very special presentation to Vitaly B. Troyan, city engineer who officially retired from our ranks today, July 18, 2003. We want to take the time to thank Vic for serving the people of the city of Los Angeles with dedication, expertise, and commitment for over the last four years. Vic was born in Shanghai, China, China, and immigrated to the United and States and moved to San Francisco when he was seven years old. He graduated from the University of California at Berkeley with a Bachelor of Science degree in Civil Engineering in 1966 and began his career in public works for the City and County of San Francisco in 1966, becoming a registered professional engineer in 1971. He remained with the City and County of San Francisco until 1999, except for a two-year tour of active duty with the United States Army Ordnance Corporation. He rose to the position of Deputy Director of the Department of Public Works, City and County of San Francisco, and while there, managed many significant projects, including the construction of the Moscone Convention Center and disaster relief efforts after the Loma Prieta earthquake. In 1999, Vitt began serving the City of Los Angeles as its city engineer. And what a wild ride it's been. And he's a great photographer, too, for those of you who don't know. He's led a renaissance within the Bureau of Engineering, molding and shaping and leading it into a world-class engineering organization and has provided top-notch competitive in any market engineering support for the construction of many of our city projects. He implemented the concept of strong project management and accelerated the use of technology within the Bureau. He streamlined both engineering project delivery and business processes in the Bureau, resulting in higher levels of service, lower costs, 
shorter wait right. times for developers and yes, city yes, customers. Yes, he has implemented yes, many innovations yes, to improve yes, customer yes, service, yes, including yes, a project yes, management yes, training yes, program, yes, project yes, delivery yes, manual, yes, permit yes, manual, yes, master yes, schedule of projects, yes, uniform yes, project yes, reporting yes, system, yes, system yes, simplified fee structure, yes, internet yes, permit yes, system, yes, construction yes, activities, yes, geographic yes, information yes, system, yes, track map status reporting systems, master contracts and specifications. So many projects, uh, we don't have enough time to even complete the list, but it just shows you the depth and breadth of his, his contribution and his expertise. Having been named as the Infrastructure Czar for the City of Los Angeles by the Los Angeles City Council, Vid produced the first infrastructure report card for the City of Los Angeles. And the Bureau of Engineering has delivered over 1.2 billion of infrastructure projects under its leadership. He has been a tireless champion for infrastructure development and funding, and was the funding board president of the California Rebuild America Coalition. And he has received numerous awards, held numerous positions within professional organizations, particularly the American Public Works Association. Currently, he is the president-elect of the Southern California chapter of APWA, and was previously the president of the Northern California chapter. He has been married to his wife, Mara, for 37 years, and I'm going to have his family in just a moment. They have two sons, one daughter and one granddaughter. He has been an ardent booster for Cal Berkeley sports and has been known to dress his granddaughter in blue and gold to ensure that she follows in his footsteps. And I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the City Council to thank our colleague Tom Levant to say our very, very best wishes and deep, deep thanks to our very, very best wishes. Deep, deep thanks. I know we're going to miss you, but celebrate the fact that you get to move on to the next stage of your life, retirement. Retiro. And now let me turn to the advisor who will have a few words from our guest of honor here today. Uh, thank you very much, much for a wonderful chairperson of our public works committee and office that would come to it, but Jan and I are standing here today to salute someone who made a great impact. As I do talk about the history, all the history of the Los Angeles Police Department, our law enforcement, and the fire department, all of our departments, but the city engineer has been working with the city of Los Angeles to make sure that the city has a profound impact on the future of Los Angeles for the work that they do today. And Vic Choi on one came down by the city, by the bay, came to Los Angeles, to the city of the angels, and he helped inspire greatness to be greater within our own Bureau of Engineering. He helped inspire those to focus on projects, to get them done, to do a masterful job at the Los Angeles Zoo, the undertaking of the Griffith Observatory, the great work on the bridges of the city. He has also done that and mastered that ability to manage and be a great manager and a great city engineer. So I'm pleased to stand here today with my colleague, Jan Perry, to salute Ben Choi, who has such a great history uh, but he's now part of Los Angeles history because he was a very effective and positive force in the Bureau of Engineering as a city engineer of Los Angeles from the last century to this new millennium from 1999 to now 2003. Uh, join with me, everyone, and salute Victoria, city engineer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Vint, uh, you've got a couple council members who want to address, and also have a sign. Thank you, Madam President. Vint, uh, are you going to retire? Yes. Uh, there are some people here who are questioning questioning if you're really going to do this, because I heard this a long time ago, and I remember a big dinner we went to, and you were going to leave, and you decided to stay, and you were glad you did stay, and there's a whole bunch of folks here from your department. Uh, how can, can you please stand? People from the uh, Bureau of Engineering. Thank you. I just want to comment that uh, when the city was having problems getting things done, when they were having uh, over budget, delayed projects, suddenly you came into play and cleaned it all up. Now they're on time, under budget, so it was complete reversal of what the previous situation was. So I want to thank you for the service you've done for the city of Los Angeles. I know that the library projects, the police projects, and all those other programs it wouldn't be where they are today if it wasn't for your leadership, what you've done to really show what the city can do in delivering a product 
I know you've attended some of the meetings in the community and explained to the community what your department's all about and how you perform well for the community of Los Angeles with the infrastructure that we have. I just want to wish you good wishes. And if you want to come back, there's always room for you a bit because you've got a great reputation for getting things done the right way. God bless you and your family and your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Reyes. Reyes. I'm sorry to see you go. I hate to see you go. Oh, you did such a tremendous job. You've gone to our council meetings in our district. We have that presentation. You can see all the dramatic work you've done in those districts. Um, I can just go off the list. Ten years that I've known you to direct or indirect. The staff or council members. Um, I'm just going to say that 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 I'm just Get the zoning in place. This is a big city picture, big city project. Come with the bridges, beautiful drive in on one of the bridges. I mean, on and on, the way to lay it out. And then I learned later you were the architect. You were the architect. You were the architect. You were the architect. And then I learned later you were the architect. 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 You were the Mind if I ask you a question? What degree you hold? Civil engineer, civil engineer. I think that's a wonderful degree to have. With all the accolades going your way and you're well deserved and well earned, I think it probably has more to do with your engineering background than anything else. I don't know why I feel that way. Um, and I'm sure Councilman Padilla would concur with me. But I just wanted to say, in the short time that I've been interacting with the city, I can truly say that your name and your leadership has in fact made it clear that you can do a lot of things. And your leadership has in fact come up quite a bit. And you and I have had an opportunity to talk a little bit. And I have been very excited about the idea of working with you. So hopefully when you get a chance to share a few words with us, I hope you're not going away completely. And I hope that we can count on you in some fashion or other to assist us and assist, assist this great city with your leadership because uh, I have in fact heard quite a bit about how your department has really done wonderful, wonderful things as of late and through your leadership we've been able to benefit tremendously. The taxpayers, our constituents, the city as a whole is much better off for your leadership. And I use the word leadership because it, many of us can have a job, but it's up to us as an individual as to whether or not we're going to rise to that responsibility of being leaders. And I congratulate you and I thank you uh, for that, taking that responsibility seriously and acting out on that and actually doing the job that you've done. So thank you so much for what you've done for our city. Thank you. Council Member Garcetti. Thank you. I think it's mostly all the government, but I wanted to thank you as well. We're losing one of our great, great leaders here, one of the best we've ever had in Los Angeles. And for all the, way, the ways that you have inspired your team, I also want to thank your team, because I do think we have the best engineers in this country, too, and they've made, no doubt, your job easier. Um, and the great work that you all have done to make sure that the woeful infrastructure needs that we have in Los Angeles are finally addressed, and the good voters who have given us the funds to be able to do that. You have shown that we take every single one those dollars seriously, that we value engineer, that we bring things in, as I said, under time, um, under budget, and we're just going to really, really miss you, but we know that there's a lot of leaders in this department, and they will uh, try to uh, fill that vacuum while you're gone, and I hope that you are out there and available for us to continue to consult when something might go a little bit awry, a little bit off schedule. Uh, we're going to need to turn to it like we always have, and I want to thank Council Members Perry and Lamont for recognizing your future. Great, great work for the city, and we'll miss you tremendously. Bit, now it's your turn. Bit, you can. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm honored, flattered, deeply touched. My family's here with me. I'd like to introduce them. My wife, Myra. Myra. Okay. 
37 years we've been married, and in the last four years, she has made the San, driven the San Francisco to Los Angeles round trip 106 times. We have a resolution for that record 106 times for your lovely wife. I'd also like to introduce my daughter and son-in-law. My daughter is over there with my granddaughter who's now falling asleep. My son Greg and daughter-in-law Tanya, good folks. And my youngest son Misha. I'd also like to mention that we have four guests here who drove down from San Francisco to make sure I'd stay retired. Uh, this is the city engineer of San Francisco, Harlan Kelly. Harlan. And Harlan and, and the friends whom we recruited a long, long time ago did say they wanted to make sure this was my last retirement. I'd like to take this opportunity to say just a couple of brief words. One is about this fabulous city. Okay. As a Northern California, you know, as Los Angeles was that other place. Well, I've got to say, I was going to paraphrase John F. Kennedy if that wasn't presumptuous, and say, he can be an Angelino. Okay. For those of you who are old enough to remember that line, I am an Angelino. It's a fabulous city. It's a city full of civility, of values that started out coming from the Midwest and now echo the values of the immigrant population that is joining the city. Working with this council has been an absolute pleasure. In four years, I never received a phone call from a council person asking me to hire somebody, hire a consultant for political reasons. I never received a phone call asking me to promote somebody for political reasons, and I never got chewed out when I didn't deserve it. Okay, it's been a really great pleasure. I'm going to put my hand up here. Okay, it's been a really great pleasure. What I leave with you right now is a Bureau of Engineering of a thousand people, some of whom you saw here today. These people are the best and the brightest that you would find anywhere. I would take them over the Bechtels, the Parsons, and any other city as an engineering organization. You must realize that if we were a private sector firm, we would be about the 60th biggest firm in the nation. And we recruit like it, we act like it, and thanks to you, we compensate our people like it. So thank you very much. You've given me the best job of my life, given me $3 billion to spend, and only complained if I didn't spend it fast enough. Uh, thank you. Uh, Madam President, if I, I just may fit, uh, for a moment, call on Mr. Deaton, uh, who helps us so much. Just, uh, you just walked in the room. I know you were busy downstairs in a meeting, but say something that you would want to reflect on the greatness of this man from San Francisco. Well, I <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Lubach. Um, well, the first reaction was he was from San Francisco. <laughs> and he was an outsider, I have to be honest. And as a person who's been here a little while, I resisted, uh, uh, as I uh, am inclined to do, somebody from the outside. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, he has done a remarkable job. If you look at all the bond programs and the Prop K and the, uh, the attitude of the Bureau of Engineering and the approach that they are taking has, I think, done us well with our constituents, uh, our credibility to get the job done on bond uh, programs and on uh, the assessment districts, etc. And I think the attitude, as much as anything, of the, of the desire to, uh, to perform and the desire to get things done on time, on schedule, on budget, etc., has been remarkable. And uh, for a person from San Francisco, it's just been truly remarkable. <laughs> Thank you very much. At this point, I'd like to call on Councilmember Parks. Just a second, Mr. Parks. Mr. Parks, can hold for a second. We're going to. A double play. There should have been a note up there, Cindy. I apologize, Mr. Parks. But we have our Department of Aging here right now, and just briefly, I wanted to capture them before they went back down. That the Department of Aging is being honored this morning for a special work done in a Koreatown outreach program earlier. And I know Rushmore Savatis is not here, but Laura Trejo, our new uh, general manager, is here. And it's so important to always remind the all of us what our Department of Aging does, what they would like to do. 
Esto es muy importante para el Departamento de Aging. Así que esta mañana quería saludarlos a los dos y no despertar los regresos y no más a los dos. En tercer lugar, me gustaría decir algunas palabras, por favor. Me gustaría decir gracias para el Consejo de Aprendizaje y Reconocimiento y también por el equipo de Aprendizaje de Aprendizaje. Ellos son realmente un grupo muy dedicado y un grupo muy dedicado y es un privilegio trabajar con ellos todos los días. Especialmente quiero dar las gracias a los dos. They're trying to take our picture for our leadership and reaching out to the Korean community and other underserved monolingual groups within the city of Los Angeles. She does every day an incredible job at working all the angles in terms of getting us coverage from the media and the local newspapers, TV and radio, just so that we can get the message out to the ethnic communities that we serve. And I thank all of you for this acknowledgement. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Laban. Now let me recognize Councilmember Parks. Let's go in the back. Let's go in the back. I would like to ask the uh, Madam Chair, like Brenda Hood, to come up. And she's joined uh, by Mr. Gaston, and, Gaston uh, Mr. Uh, Fernandez, Fernandez, and also uh, Jan Dutorsky, all Jan from the ITA. Or the, the ITA. Mrs. Uh, Hood is going to be retiring from the city of Los Angeles, Angeles after 30 years of service. service. One up here. Uh, she started her career at the City of Los Angeles on March 19, 1973, as an office trainee with the Department of Building and Safety. She quickly promoted to uh, messenger clerk in the office of City Clerk the same year, and then she became the clerk of the City Clerk position in 1976, and later an accounting clerk in the Treasury's Department in 1979. After transferring to the Department of Airport, she received another promotion as an accounting aide for the Department of Public Works Accounting in 1981. In 83, she promoted a position of accounting in the Office of the Controller and later promoted to Senior Accountant in 1987. Uh, she worked in the controller's office when current, uh, our current mayor, James Hahn, served as the controller. In 1988, she promoted again to become a senior accountant to in the planning department, ultimately promoting the principal accountant one for the ITA in the year 2000. So that's roughly about 10 promotions for her career. Uh, she touched on the lives of all of the employees in various departments throughout the city with her leadership, talent, friendly attitude, and gracious demeanor. She celebrates her retirement with her husband of 27 years, Kenneth Hood, her daughter, Nicole, son-in-law, Derek, and son, Kenny Jr., and of course, her grandchildren. I would just like to commend, commend her for that service. And she says she's really going to retire and do what her grandmother is doing and take care of her grandkids. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just very quickly, Council, as Brenda's supervisor for the last two and a half years, I just want to say this is an exemplary city employee, someone who just demonstrates what the best qualities of the city. She is a woman of high integrity, as you know, the profession of accounting is that. She watches our money with the diligence she wouldn't believe, and she has so many friends and co-workers. We had a wonderful 100-person celebration yesterday for her, and we're sorely going to miss her, and I just want to congratulate her on her retirement. Su retiro. Gracias para el Consejo de Amigos, Consejo de Parks. Y ha sido maravilloso por 30 años. Haber empezado de abajo y subir de arriba. Me siento orgulloso de lo que he hecho. Y quiero darle gracias a mi familia de Haití por estar hoy aquí para soportar. Y no más por tener ser amigos de frente a puerta. Sí, por favor. Los años. 
Mr. Felder, Mr. Felder. Uh, Ted, as we call him, is the 8th District Governor of the Governor National the Funeral Directors and Marticians, and Marticians the Association. And Marticians. what that really means is he is uh, in a leadership position in a for this entire region as providing uh, clear direction uh, being a part of the State Association of Funeral Directors, Marticians, and Farmers. But what he did recently in the city of L.A., is that many people are the increase in violent crime are trying to figure out how they can do something about the crime. And what he did on May the 17th is organized a lot of the funeral directors and marticians in his district as well as his leadership to come together and to try to make sure that all of these crimes are being punished and that they are not 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 being punished and with that, he asked every mortician and funeral director not to schedule any funeral on March 17th. And what they did is drive to the city of Los Angeles with a stop the violence and signs on their limousines and their cars as they were driving to the city of Los Angeles. First, to let the community know that although they had lost their lives, they realized that the loss of life was due to part of the community and the pandemic proportions, and they were willing to step up and say something about it. And so I want to thank Mr. Felder for being part of the Funeral Directors and Marticians 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 and no, we could try to get it, but we have a question in particular. Y poner todos en ese lado y empezar en la comunidad primero. Hemos dado ciertos grupos más pequeños que va a presentar. Como 30 miembros de su organización que perciben el ser de más que el señor Felder. Muchas gracias por parte de la ciudad de Los Ángeles. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Council. On behalf of the National Funeral Directors and Mortuaries Association, I'd like to thank you for this recognition. I did ask all of the funeral directors in the way of Los Angeles area to refrain from the funeral directors in particular. And we'd like to thank the citizens and the families that we served during the funeral and who allowed us to move on the funeral that we made. Say to the community, yes, we do not. Nos ganamos uh, from the loss of life, la pérdida de vida, pero estamos haciendo una industry. declaración como industria y nos esperamos al próximo año que vamos a tener una procesión que va a incluir ciento carrozas con piso para hacer los hombres y ustedes pueden vivir. You can live with breast cancer, you can con live with HIV. De, con uh, HIV. There are diseases that can be treated if they are caught in time. So as funeral directors, we want you to live. So that, that's our mission next year, uh, to inform this city that the funeral directors of the funeral directors want you to live. So that we'll have a family plan for the people who have been in my brother, Keith Washington, and I'd like to thank Brother Keith Washington, who assisted me in this endeavor from the Angeles funeral home, and Anthony Wormack from the Hunter Memorial Home. Home, who also uh, assisted us. Again, Asistió thank you for this recognition. And I'm so proud of you, and I feel that if everybody can do what I do, and 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 if everybody can do what Right, council is in session. Let's move to the agenda. First order of business is approval of the minutes. Mr. Smith moves. 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 Matters before oh, Councilmember Pierre Rigosa. Okay. Matters before 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 Councilmember Pierre Rigos
close the roll. Se la lista. Tabulate the vote. Tabulate the vote. 14 ayes. 14 sí. That matter is approved. Eso está aprobado. Los asuntos son los asuntos para la audiencia por ya se hicieron asuntos 2 al 14. All right, members. Miembros, Senator Perry. Especial para el concejal. ¿Cuál asunto? 10. Asunto de más para el concejal Parks. Otros asuntos de Villarregosa. Los miembros me gustaría poner. Sacar el tercero y continuarlo hasta el próximo martes. Request of the city of the All right, we've had a request to continue item continue three number until three next Tuesday. Without objection, that will be the order. Ms. Han? Mr. Han? Thank you. 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 If not, si no, then the remaining items. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Garcetti. Two through, four, two through 14. Two through 14. Item 9 is called by Councilmember Garcetti. All right. The remainder of the items are now before us, members. members. Open the roll. Close the roll. Close the roll. Tabulate the vote. 14 eyes. Those matters are approved, and I believe there were some ordinances, so let's have the ordinances go forthwith. Next item. Items for which public hearings have not been held. Items 15 through 36, and I believe there's a request from the council member to receive and file item number 29. All right, there's also a card on item 30. 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 And we have the motion to receive the file. Item 39. Item 39. Item 39. Item 39. Item 39. Any other special? Seeing none. I'm sorry. Item 16. Are there cards on the table? Yes, there are cards on the table. Yes, there are cards on the table. Item 16. 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 Close the roll. Close the list. Tabulate the vote. Fourteen eyes. Those are approved. Going back to the items special. Special items two and three. 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 Special items Let's take item 16 out of order, so let's item 16 is now before us. 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 Item 16 is and there are two more. Can I ask the people to please step forward? Come forward. 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 Vamos al Consejo de Vecindad, por segundo tema, también estoy en lo que mencioné hace un momento, como es la fuerza de trabajo. En la situación de Wilmington, me gustaría soportar ordenanza de trabajo. And I hope you will do us a favor and give it to your support. Also, I turned some progress, and I don't believe it was just the people who should have done it. Show some progress. 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 Ms. Mejia. Ms. Mejia. Hello. 
Hello. Hello, my name is Elizabeth. Hello, my name is Elizabeth. Hello, my name is Elizabeth. I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the proposal that she made for the containers. And I want to thank Janice Hong for the Presidente, consejero, ministro, director, director ejecutivo de Wilmington, de la tercera 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 de Wilmington, We so richly deserve. Thank you, Council Member Cleaning up our community and working with the city council to make sure that the city is clean. Thank you, Council Member Cleaning up our community and working with the city council to make sure that the city is clean. Thank you, Council Member Cleaning up our community and working with the city council to make sure that the city is clean. Thank you, Council Member Cleaning up our community and working with the city council to make sure that the city is clean. Thank you, Council Member Cleaning up our community and working with the city council to make sure that the city is clean. Asociación de Wilmington. Yo vengo aquí para eso para Janice Hong. Me asunto 14. Al número 5. En particular, número 4. Impacto del Departamento de Jago. Y yo soy bien con la acción. 14. Y 16. En los recintos de contenedores de Wilmington, es que me pongo moratorio en eso y es importante. Muchas gracias. Gracias, señor Wilson. Madam Chair, members of the Council, my name is Patrick Wilson. I'm a member of the Treasurer of the Wilson Neighborhood Council, Chief Financial Officer of the Wilmington Chamber of Commerce, and also President of Fastlane Transportation. However, I come before you as a member of the community today in favor of Janice Hunt's motion to create a moratorium for the issuance of permits for open source uses in Wilmington. I think this is good for the community, it's good for business and residential community members because it reduces as a member of the neighborhood of the council, we have made strong reports which are land-related and this establishes a foundation for planning deficiencies which have led to industrial and social industrial control. Areas. The quality of life should have been balanced and improved, and hopefully it will lead to a revitalization of the neighborhoods that are impacted by the future. Thank you. 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 Madam President, City Council Members, my name is John Fante. I've been a member, I've been a resident of Wilmington for 64 years. I'm here to support the Canada Act and the motion of the moratorium in the containers. I feel that we need to improve the quality of life of the residents of Wilmington. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Let me recognize at this time Council Member Hahn. Thank you, Madam President. Today I feel very important day for me as a representative of the Canada Act and the motion to create a moratorium on open source use of land and water for residents of Wilmington. Just heard from residents who have been fighting for and many cases begging to be heard about the quality of life of the residents of Wilmington. And that is a representation of the community that has been fighting for and many cases begging to be heard about the quality of life of the residents of Wilmington. And that is a representation of the community that has been fighting for and we still have to Los Angeles. They have suffered from this visual flight of junkyards, scrapyards, and container storage facilities. What I'm asking you to do today is to approve an interim control ordinance that will protect the residents of Wilmington and expand open storage yards in their community. What we're talking about here is the storage space that is used for open air storage space that is used for open air storage Para uh, merchandise, materials, materials, materials equipos, containers, containers, yeah. What this means to the people of the world is that we have no more permits for the containers, storage yards, no more permits for the junkyards, scrap yards, and no more permits for the 
Por el mes lo que me gusta. Yo estoy en control de él. Es el primer paso que en realidad se utiliza a Wilmington. Es su comunidad de eliminar una vida rica de sus vidas diarias. Esto es estar con ustedes, ser la que pelea por esta comunidad y pido que soporten y también pelean por la comunidad de Wilmington. Esto es una comunidad donde Dios me ha dicho el, el que no antes porque los años están tan altos como oscuros el sol es una comunidad que no puede ver nuestra parte de seguridad de tiene 245 lotes eh, de espacio, 146 de ellos operan sin permiso de salir. Este tiene tiempo de tomar licencia de los operadores que, que han ganado dinero en las espaldas de los residentes de movimiento por mucho tiempo. La juventud y los ciudadanos en su soporte. Y quiero recomendar a todos los que han venido aquí, pero es, no es un trabajo duro para manejar Los Ángeles. Y estar aquí hasta el 20 para las 12 para hablar. Pero quiero felicitarlos porque es lo que quiero decir es hacer su voz oír en el gobierno. Y quiero apuntar que esto es nada más residente, soportable. Tenemos a Pat Wilson aquí, que representa la que conservó. Y también es un hombre de negocios en esta industria. Y continuar. Cuenta que todo tiene cohabitar conmigo y nuestros ideas de los residentes son su subvolvente. Es un gran paso hoy. Gracias. 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 Y bien, el siguiente momento, yo creo que es extremadamente importante de la acción, porque evalúan un hombre sin dar evalúan, realmente es una parte importante de los hombres, una parte de la historia, y evalúan no que se deje usarse. Como la gente, como no hay leyes, sino no hay leyes, sino no hay leyes, no es tan importante tomar eso en Ajan como lo ha hecho. Y esto es oportuno esto, porque no debemos que pase. La una anarca que estaba tratando en los días anteriores cuando había condado si no como responsable por eso que pasar allá fue. Ahora ya o sea, yo creo que yo creo que tenemos un gran porte que lo que debemos es en esta clase de leyes y traer esto el vecindario para tres su canción que la gente importa el vecindario más quiero pararme y tres gracias por venir de Wilmington pero también decir que esto es importante lo que se ha traído aquí porque no nos ha cambiado la cara de vuelta que va a mejorar la cara de vida para la gente que ve y la gente tiene que comenzar de los aeropuertos de Los Ángeles que se importan no más para el sur de California pero importante para el oeste gracias por el momento gracias por el momento gracias por el momento gracias por el momento el señor presidente, yo les quiero dejarles saber que yo estoy por el soporto que le estamos haciendo. Para esos que no son el concilio, que tienes y usos severos de las uso de tierras, no sabemos dónde va. En todo momento tiene que ser tener una voz muy fuerte en la señora Han. Es tiempo que hemos de regresar a alguna de esas visiones de administraciones que están en esas comunidades por todas las ciudades. El señor Han va a venir entre usted poco un problema. El Anfield de Bali va a regresar entre usted en pelear contra el Sánchez. Tenemos que entender cómo vamos a ver el Consejo, qué tiempo que hacemos de acción acerca de las comunidades, lo que es la ciudad económica y salud. Y más es primero, yo estoy feliz y soportable. Yo creo que me ha devuelto el todo y entiendo que dónde va a pasar. Si también tiene una voz fuerte en la ciudad de Jal, estoy muy feliz y soportable. Gracias, señor Smith. El asunto está entre nosotros. Son nueve miembros de que se echan a hablar. Entonces tenemos el asunto 16, que es la ordenanza para el interno control entre nosotros. Y va a verse la lista. Se verse la lista. Tabla el voto. 14, sí. 14, sí. Está aprobado. Pues ya me adelanto para el alcalde. Gracias. Próximo asunto. El asunto. Que lo sabrá que hoy nosotros vamos a tomar el asunto número dos que se detuvo en el escritorio. La señora reconoce al concejal Go. Gracias, señora presidenta. Este asunto hoy de nosotros 
que fue una encuesta, es, eh, fue una encuesta es, todos saben que ha estado es, peleando para mantener negocios aquí en la ciudad de Los Ángeles y que creamos fondo el 75% que va reforma de impuestos, 25% para viviendas. Y en su implementación original hubo mucha flexibilidad en su desarrollo y lo que encontramos eh, es su implementación es el hecho de que el fondo de, que fue calculado estaba en rojo y que eh, la Junta para el hecho de esto y en esta ocasión se le ha hecho del fondo ha sido utilizado para dejar las categorías antiguas de impuestos cuando salimos con ella de cómo meter negocio que los de Los Ángeles. El fondo nos deja hacer eso. Entonces, hemos estado trabajando diligentemente con la oficina de la oficina de finanzas globales, CLOCLA, que nos dé la actitud ahí y también para tener los para el fondo. Y como en el cine, si no estos cambios, vamos a tener un balance negativo al final. Este cambio propuesto que los fondos no pues, más han usado para hacer reformas que directamente benefician a los pagadores de impuestos a los años. Como saben, hemos creado, hemos creado el Consejo de Padilla, creo, el puesto de negocios y el Consejo de Mancho, que sirvieron conmigo para asegurar que nosotros somos un mensaje muy claro los negocios en Los Ángeles que generan los que nos ofrecen los impuestos es un más uno de muchos negocios que vamos a tener que hacer el martes vamos a tener la primera de archivo la amenaza y también como un estudio de pasar los impuestos nosotros necesitamos mandar ese mensaje hoy que tengo la oportunidad de aconsejar el fondo que identifiquen el hecho de que en su implementación ha encontrado los errores y otra vez que hemos presentado a todos los colegas y la familia de la que que se han notado los shelter que está que se ha que ha llevado la cosa en esta caso pensamos que lo que debemos hacer son los grandes beneficios de los negocios pequeños y medianos ahora hoy que lo adoptemos es una forma de impuestos los cambios en eso que nos va a dejar hacer este fondo trabajable y algo que nos va a ayudar en el futuro continuar en el mantener negocios en los años que nos ayuda a pagar de policía, bombero, servicios, etc. En mi va a ser en Los Ángeles una mejor ciudad. Entonces pido a mis colegas que conmigo van a soportar este cambio para el fondo de impuestos y espero trabajar en la producción también el martes en los otros asuntos de los negocios. Gracias de negocio. Gracias la presente. Gracias a la concejal Garcet. Gracias al presidente. Y gracias por dejar algo. Muchas gracias por su liderazgo de impuestos de negocio en Arja y gracias a los comités también por venir con la recomendación del negocio de Arja. Creo que es hecho que no cortemos nuestros impuestos de negocio de forma de esfuerzos, contando de estas maneras que tenemos esto en una colección de impuestos de negocio. Es crítico que fundamos eso, que damos el dinero de enseñar nuestro. Tenemos hecho pasos importantes, es falso decir que todos estos cambios son que vamos a estar seguros de que están haciendo pues eso en esta manera de movernos para adelante. No quitar esos esfuerzos y asegurar que tenemos consejo de alcalde que quieren hacer esta ciudad. Nuestra negociación se nos propuesta a dos otros nuevos que Arja que va a estar yo por el próximo paso. Se pase a la estrategia de otros que espero ver a todos nosotros continuar hasta marzo por el camino a ver más impuestos en el medio ambiente. Claramente cuando vemos la necesidad que tenemos en el medio ambiente, como fue en el centro de la gente, no estamos en el medio de la gente. Es un viaje para el centro de la que estamos sufriendo también. Un gran día como se han hecho trabajados por la segunda vez, el instructor de impuestos de que la gente tiene más el poder de hacer esto. Y para formar eso, podemos hacer esto vibrante para todos en la gente. Entonces, eso es un soporte de vida. Yo creo que al final se ha hecho concurrencia con el país. Vamos a ver esto. Gracias, Gracias, Gracias. 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 Gracias,
present commission by the first tribunal to be observed by the first tribunal to be observed by the first tribunal to be observed Señor Levanche, señor Sultán. Señor Presidente, como miembros del Consejo, gracias por dejarme hablar con ustedes. Creo que yo represento su distrito. El fondo original supuesto para hacer un número de cosas, número uno para bajar a los impuestos. Al mismo tiempo, tuvimos nuestra vida de la casa de ganancias de la ciudad, implementar eso. Y parte de eso, aumentar las ganancias, fue la amnistía de ABC. 63, que es la fuerza de manejar esta adicional ganancia, si todo esto automáticamente va y hace, contiene congresos que no han reportado sus impuestos. En la área de ganancias pequeñas, y eso es lo que verás estos temas en la ciudad de Los Ángeles para tener estos negocios. Y claro, para traer ganancias adicionales para que podamos por categoría. Finalmente, crear la ganancia de neutralidad, que fue importante porque los negocios se crean ahorita y producen las de Los Ángeles entre 360 y 370 millones de dólares. Y nos intentamos continuar a hacer eso. Pero necesitamos estar seguros de que yo espero que repetiría que por la propuesta hiciera la Comunidad de Negocios del Consejo de la Ciudad de Estado tras dos y queremos que se quede en el trabajo de negocios. Gracias. Muchas gracias por ese momento y aprecio todo su trabajo. Nos pido un voto de sí, continúe hasta hacer el esfuerzo que todos debemos estar seguros que Los Ángeles sea mejor. Amigable de negocio, especialmente con la Universidad de Los Ángeles, California, San Torres, Long Beach, San Valle, San Valle, Santa Cruz, donde sea. Eso es de ser competitivo y eso es de ser eso. Gracias. Ahora tenemos asunto ante nosotros. Por favor, hace la lista. Si no se realiza, la bolsa del voto. 14, sí. El asunto está unánimemente aprobado. Todos vamos a andar de eso para adelante. En su firma en la ordenanza. Por ese asunto, asunto número 10, veamos especial con Sir Parks. Mr. Parks, I am number 10. Mr. Chair, we have a monthly report on the decrees and updates as you are the current the <laughs> a la corte en agosto primero. La ciudad ha identificado 75 párrafos donde estamos. 31 párrafos donde estamos parcial. 24 de los párrafos están en parcial por el último año. De nota en los últimos seis meses la ciudad ha venido con tres párrafos, pero he salido de cuatro párrafos que previamente estamos en esas cuestiones super buenas para implementar el decreto de la casa que es el revuelve alrededor de documentación que son menores pero necesitamos ponerse en lugar para ilustrar nuestro 
La misión de auditoría es sobre auditorías en los pantalones de masas mensuales de Tecando y proviendo la estrategia para esa división. Ese grupo de CETA ha propuesto el proceso de la sede reestructurando unidades de pandillas por toda la ciudad. Está continuando a monitorar y se ocupa el teléfono de los temas de la infraestructura. Es poder monitorar en bases reales y lo que se ha puesto en lugar. Y estamos optimistas que vamos a poder llegar a las metas del decreto de atención. Es una salida, aunque el puerto de policía está optimista que va a estar ahí. Es una salida más continua. For paragraph 84, the issue is uh, we are required to use jury standards for credibility determinations when adjudicating complaints and categorical and non-categorical use of force investigations. The monitor had requested that we, ought, that we document when we do not do credibility determinations. Was the city's position that we should not have to document a negative, uh, that we would document when we indeed make credibility determinations and how we came to those conclusions and what was considered? Uh, as part of that, we did commit with the monitor that we would do some additional training with folks. So we think we have come to consensus and achieved the city's goal, and as part of that, agreed with the monitor that we would provide additional training on credibility determinations to officers. For paragraph 88, the quarterly discipline report, the monitor's disagreement um, is regarding timeliness. Currently, uh, the way the process works of the paperwork, um, when the chief of police makes a recommendation for discipline, there is a, a period of time before that case is closed out and entered into the computer system. When it's entered into the computer system, that is when we include it in the discipline report because it's all automated. However, the when the chief of police, the date that uh, the chief of police recommends discipline, that is not automated currently, and for us to collect those dates would require additional resources. We have indicated to the monitor that we think it is timely enough that it's appropriate we report quarterly, and it will be remedied when we get the new complaint management system in place. So rather than expending resources today, we believe that it's more prudent to focus on our future efforts to get a new system in place. They are considering the city's position on that issue. For paragraph 102 and 103, that's the non-discrimination policy. The disagreement between the city and the independent monitor revolves on the monitoring method. The monitor would like, has required that the city provide data analysis of the data that we are required to collect under paragraphs 104 and 105 to illustrate non-discrimination. The city has indicated that we do not believe today that we have the ability to achieve that. We have released a request for proposal to seek a firm to assist us in reviewing that data. Um, historically, nationwide, we have looked at the way data is um, reviewed in other jurisdictions where it is collected. We don't believe that we can draw conclusions based upon that data. We have indicated to the independent monitor that we believe that we should be monitoring it consistent with the uh, methods that it is monitored in other jurisdictions of significant note from the city's perspective. In the last month, the U.S. Department of Justice released a report indicating that the federal uh, law enforcement agencies did not discriminate. The way they did their analysis was by looking at the complaints that were filed, how they were investigated, and what the conclusions were. Indeed, that is what the city of Los Angeles has done to illustrate compliance with the non-discrimination policy. In addition, we require officers to provide cards to every uh, individual that they encounter with a 1-800 number so that they can receive complaints. We provide for complaints on the website. We provide complaints website, for seven different languages um, in the various uh, area 
facilities. So we believe that we have more than illustrated compliance with the non-discrimination policy based on current uh, procedures and practices employed in other areas. That is the area of disagreement. The other issue I'd like to comment on is that, uh, and we had talked about this on a previous report, uh, dealing with uh, confidential informants and dealing with search warrants. And the concern about the reorganization of uh, moving narcotic officers where most of those search warrants are held, and also dealing with informants. And on page 8, paragraph 3, we're talking about the lack of a centralized review and the deficiencies. And then when we go to uh, the, let's see, go to page 11, I believe it is. Uh, on the bottom of page, sorry, uh, bottom of page uh, 13, we're commenting on both instances about the lack of a centralized system and how deficiencies are becoming more evident. And I think we expressed that concern before about if you decentralize this process out into the field, the compliance is going to be less and less. And have we figured out a happy medium? Um, from the arrest procedures, it is our understanding to date, based upon the audits that we have undertaken, that the, that the issues are largely documentation issues, where we're not, officers aren't documenting all of the information that's required in the detention logs. A recent order was released to clarify those procedures, and there will be a follow-up audit to ensure that we are achieving the goals. For search warrants, um, there is a similar process. It appears to be a documentation issue at this point. Uh, order is currently currently plan to be before the commission this month to remedy those issues and identify uh, the appropriate procedures. Um, once again, that will be followed up with audits. One of the CLA's office concerns was because of our deficiencies in audit division, it takes a long time to get information in. The Civil Rights Integrity Division has recently brought in five individuals whose task is to actually go out and do real-time ad hoc audits so they can be sent out and say, Go look at that division and see how they're doing for arrest reports this month. Are they filling out all the forms that look appropriate? Um, so we think that that will help us in a real-time effort identify deficiencies and be able to remedy them. Um, I will leave to Mr. Chalif the discussion about the reorganization and how that all plays into to these one of the things that both of these issues are always going to be documentation problems because the more people that have to review them, the more people are going to have uh, a different style and different different understanding. And prior to reorganization, most of them were in the narcotics division. Now we're the narcotics on system. a larger number of people to do that review. In relation to the confidential informants, all the narcotics confidential informant files are now uh, in the custody of the downtown central um, headquarters narcotics division, and they're doing the review of all the informant packages. The only packages that remain in any area are those that are not narcotics, and those are being reviewed by um, narcotics also to make sure that the packages are correct. So we've centralized the review process of that to ensure that. In relation to search warrants, there's a new order that's going out with new forms that will, that will um, standardize the process so that when, in fact, if somebody comes out to review it, they'll be reviewing with the same standards for everybody. Mr. Parks, your, I was going to say your time is up. You want to push your button again? Okay, I'll push my button. Um, well, and since you are the only other person who wants to speak, I'll call on Mr. Oh, actually, Mr. Ludlow has now pushed his button. Mr. Ludlow? Good morning. Well, good afternoon by three minutes. Uh, just a couple of questions. Um, in the report, paragraphs uh, 102 and 103, the non-discrimination policy, um, it appears that there's a, a, a pretty significant difference between the city and the monitor. And could you kind of uh, shed some light on where you perceive the central disagreements are between the city and the monitor? The sole disagreement on paragraphs 102 and 103 is that the independent monitor believes in order for us to illustrate compliance with the non-discrimination policy that we have to do data analysis on the pedestrian and traffic stop data that is collected pursuant to paragraphs 104 and 105. 
know, some we ha we ha we actually uh, went out with a request for proposal to hire a contractor to look at that data, see if there was a way that we could analyze and draw conclusions from that data. We have received proposals, um, and they are in the process of being vetted to ensure that they meet all the minimum city requirements, and then will be reviewed by the city steering committee. That is the area of sole disagreement on paragraphs 102 and 103. The, po the policy we have is, uh, I'm sorry, could, could you say that one more time? Sure, that we, our, we, our discriminate and non-discrimination policy, which is contained within the manual and approved by the police commission, has been approved by the monitor and the Department of Justice. In fact, it goes beyond what the Department of Justice has as their own non-discrimination policy. So, so did the, the punchline on that is that there's, it's, a, it's a data collection difference, and we are moving more into what the monitor is requesting, and we're going out to bid on somebody to do that, or am I misunderstanding it? It's a data analysis issue. We have collected the data. We have uh, published the data for the six months between July 1st and December 31st, 2002. The monitor's position is you then have to take that data and analyze it more than just looking at the numbers and saying there's a higher percentage of blacks who are taken out of cars than, than Caucasians. They want us to do more in-depth analysis what Ms. Garrett was talking about. We've issued an RSP to see if we can get an outside agency or expert to come in and tell us, one, if you can't analyze it, and then two, how to analyze it. Did you, did you want to add something to that? The city's long-standing position is that data analysis is not required in the consent decree. It is not stated in the consent decree. It's not required in the consent decree. However, the city family decided it was prudent to move forward. So there are four corners around the document, and then there are reforms outside of the consent decree. So while we are moving forward with that, it is the city's position with the U.S. Department of Justice and the independent monitor that that is not a mandate of the consent decree. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Mr. Ludlow, let me call again on Mr. Parks. My final question deals, and I appreciate you bringing over the new stats on the uh, complaints, and I understand there was an audit done that reflected uh, uh, the pretty close to the number of percentage of complaints were missing that people were not taking them. Was there any effort to find those who uh, we did not take complaints and make complaints on their behalf? The, oh, you mean the, the no. From the audit? We could not tell who was the, who didn't want to make a complaint. All you could tell was the fact that, uh, that we had a precipitous drop. What we've done is we had audited the um, taking of complaints by using a sting audit technique. There was a number of 128 complaints that were generated from that. Because of the fact that we used tape recordings as part of the technique and the opinion from the city attorney, those investigations are on hold. We intend to do further staying audits without the use of tape recordings so that we can identify which officers are not taking complaints, if any. All right. Um, this matter, the status report, the monthly status report is now before us. To note and file with the recommendation the CLA had made previously. The matter is before us. Open the roll. Close the roll. Tabulate the vote. 49. Thank you. That matter is approved. Mr. Parks. We have number 20 forthwith. Number 20 will be forthwith as well as items 6 and 7. Next item, item number 14, call special by Council Member Hahn. Council Member Hahn, item 14. Thank you, uh, Madam President, colleagues. Um, item 14 is pretty much in conjunction with what we just did on item 16. And what we need to do here is um, note, receive and file the first two recommendations of uh, this report, and then I'd like us to uh, move three, four, and five, which address part of what I'm trying to do in Wilmington is, besides just coming down on the current container usage, coming down on having no new uh, container facilities built in Wilmington, what I'm trying to do is offer an incentive to the legitimate business of container storage. Uh, which is just a byproduct of the Port of Los Angeles. And what I'm asking for is that the Harbor Department uh, work on what we're affectionately calling container land. 
uh, where we're trying to piece together uh, parts of the property, uh, far east Wilmington, or even uh, outside of Wilmington, where we can actually someday store all storage container facilities uh, that have to be stored in Los Angeles. I'd ultimately like to get them all out of Wilmington. Uh, but right now, some of them are legitimate businesses, but we're trying to find sort of an incentive, uh, a better land use policy for containers in Wilmington. So I request. Um, that we uh, note and file a uh, one and two, and then have three, four, and five uh, come back to. Uh, uh, well, that's the, from the Joint Plum and Commerce Committee um, that will ask the, the Harbor Department to, be, to work on this. So I ask for your approval to that. Thank you very much, Ms. Hahn. Any other colleagues wishing to be heard on this? If not, Madam Clerk, if you'll please open the roll. Close the roll and tabulate the vote. 49. That is approved. Um, before our next item, colleagues, I'd like to recognize Councilmember Weiss for a special presentation. Special presentation involves a certain colleague of ours. There she is. Can we, can, we, can we zoom in over here? Um, everybody, we, we just wanted to uh, take the chance. We, we welcomed you back uh, at the beginning of the meeting, um, a little informally, and all of us, your colleagues here, just wanted to welcome you back formally. I mean, it was nice to see Roz Wyman here this morning, a role model for all of us. But you're now, today, the real role model for us, for people in Los Angeles who have to, who have busy jobs, busy lives. Lives, important family responsibilities. We've all seen what you've done over the past nine and a half months, and we've watched it with just, well, we've, no, we've really watched with amazement and admiration of how you've managed to balance all the extraordinarily complex things in your life. We're all proud to be your friends. We're proud to be your colleagues. And so, because we know Thomas Weston is upstairs, we wanted to present him his very first certificate as well. A few words from Ms. Gruel. Thank you, Mr. President, and um, this is wonderful. I know uh, Thomas will enjoy this, and I just want to take this opportunity to thank all my council colleagues who have been so supportive for the last nine and a half months, from helping me out of my chair as I got to the end, uh, to uh, being supportive throughout the community, and in particular the last two weeks where I wasn't able to be here, and you've uh, testified on my behalf or made some comments on my behalf, uh, but also to um, the community leaders, the outpouring of support and and encouragement has really been wonderful. And, um, Thomas will be a friendly face around here, and just uh, this is uh, really special to me, and I'm glad to, to be back, and thanks for making it uh, easy for me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Gruel, and lest anybody in the second district think that because Ms. Gruel was out for a little bit, she was not working hard, a number of her colleagues remarked that she was faxing us questions to ask, she was sending letters, she was making her sure her voice was heard, and she was watching us every single day, so working hard for the second district even when she was away from chambers. But welcome back, it's wonderful to have you back. Uh, next item, please. Item number 17, call special in as much as there is part from the public. All right. We have an uh, item before us. We have a public speaker card. I'd like to invite forward Peter Baxter at this time. Mr. President, members of your Honorable Council, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Peter Baxter and I live at 1319 Ingram Street in Los Angeles. It is respectfully submitted that the genius of the late Gilda Radner was expressed through the medium of television and which is capable of being presented here in this council chamber. It is my respectful request that an invitation should be extended to the sponsors of a nominee for the Hollywood Walk of Fame to submit with that recommendation a videotape of a minimum of three minutes playing time so that your honorable council may experience here in this chamber the genius which has earned a place on the Walk of Fame. It is my further respectful submission that the current nominees should be continued in this nomination until the proposed three minutes of video are provided to accompany the recommendation, all of which is respectfully submitted. Thank you, Mr. President. 
Thank you very much for that suggestion, and I will be sure that my staff follows up with that, sir, and uh, I think it would be a welcome addition to many of our star ceremonies on Hollywood Boulevard, so thank you. Um, can please open the roll on the item, close the roll, and tabulate the vote. 14 ayes. That item is approved. Ms. Gilda Radner's star will be uh, on Hollywood Boulevard for everyone. Um, next item, please. Uh, there is a special one on the desk uh, presented by Council Member Weiss and seconded by Council Member Reyes, and the City Attorney will speak to the findings. Mr. City Attorney. Thank you. I will read into the record the findings for Council to consider. Since the posting of today's agenda, a city staff field check has revealed the need for Department of Transportation to change its recommendation on a matter considered by the Central Area Planning Commission. Immediate action is required because today is the last day on which Council can take jurisdiction on this matter pursuant to Charter Section 245. Pursuant to Government Code, Council must first determine whether there is a need to take immediate action and that the need for action came to the attention of Council after the posting of today's agenda. If such a finding is made, Council may consider the substantive motion. Thank you. Uh, you've heard the City Attorney recite the findings for Special 1. Are there any objections to the findings? If not, open the roll on the findings. Close the roll. Tabulate the vote. 14 ayes. All right, the matter is now officially before us. The chair recognizes Councilmember Weiss. Madam chair, I appreciate my colleague's support on the findings. This is a uh, matter that's been before the Central Area Area Planning Commission involving a uh, proposed development on La Brea. It has an impact uh, on the uh, alley between La Brea and Detroit. Um, that uh, is of concern to me and the residents on Detroit. Um, I think it's a matter which can be uh, addressed by this council and the Plum Committee. I look forward to it being in front of Mr. Reyes, and uh, I'd ask for your support in asserting, juris asserting jurisdiction over the uh, uh, decision of the uh, Central Area APC so we can uh, provide some relief for those residents if possible. Uh, Mr. Weiss, so we, there, yeah. do, uh, do you wish to amend this to uh, send this to Plum after Council asserts jurisdiction? I, I well, it was my, I mean... No, we, we made I'm, the findings that we can bring the matter before us, so we need to, one, assert jurisdiction, correct. and the question is if you don't have the technical amendment today but want to send it back to Plum, that could be a part of the same well, it motion. Was, it, was, it was my understanding, actually, that we were not going to take the final action here today to reverse and we didn't have that technical so I, I had been intending to send it to Plum. I, All right. we, I, I'm happy to take the final action here today. No, or we could hold it on the desk or continue, but if you want to send it to Plum to have the official review taken, we can do oh, that as well. I think let's just send it to Plum. All right, then, then the motion today is just to assert the jurisdiction and send the matter to Plum and the city attorney. I thought that was in the motion, that's why I Are you sure? Okay, fine, let's okay, send it there. Councilmember LaBange. I just want to ask Mr. Weiss, Mr. this alley Mr. is on Detroit, just want to know, does it affect pigs' hot dogs at all? <laughs> Mr. LaBange. Yeah. Pink's Hot Dogs is in my district, but if I ever took an action uh, that did anything other than increase sales at Pink's Hot Dogs, I would have called you. I would have called you. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure Pink's is in the I do want you to know that at the special event we're co-sponsoring on Sunday, yes. we're going to have Nathan's Hot Dogs. Oh, that's all right, but I love Pink's. But anyway, God bless Nathan, too. Thank you for that clarification, Mr. Lavange and Mr. Weiss. Uh, the matter is before us now for asserting jurisdiction and referring the matter to Plum for corrections with the Department of Transportation. Open the roll. Close the roll. Tabulate the vote. 14 ayes. That matter is approved. Next item, Ed Clerk. This is the time for comments from the public on items not on Council's agenda. All right, we do have one card submitted in public comment. At this time, let me call forward Mr. Warren Williams. Mr. Williams is coming forward, I believe, to the microphone. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to address the council on several different items. The first item has to do with the, uh, the Mer Park Village. I'm requesting that uh, Mark Ludlow or uh, Mark Ludlow or some member of this council will rename the Lemur Park to African Town. 
I make a motion to that effect. The second item is uh, connected with that, which is the issue of Crenshaw Boulevard. And we know that a lot of communities are saying they do not want uh, Crenshaw change, but that is without the knowledge that Crenshaw name is a racist name. Where they informed of what's in the uh, city files of where that name came from, then the members uh, of the community changed their opinion and they understand the importance of having their street name changed. Change. To build the esteem of our youth and to move forward, it's important that these uh, racist names do get changed. Another major item, and I am going to submit to the council a couple of advertisements, uh, even though there's a lot of uh, white leading roles, there's a particular concern about African American roles and this refers to Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. And here we have from out of the uh, Wave newspaper dealing with much larger weapons in our hands. And on the MTA buses, we have Will Smith with his arms uh, stretched out with a gun in each hand. And this is in the LA Weekly with Martin and Will Smith with a gun in hand. You know, when we talk about gangs and junctions and all these other things about stopping violence, it's a complete contradiction to have the MTA buses driving off through the city with uh, persons, you know, demonstrating violence, encouraging violence. We know we have Arnold Schwarzenegger with his uh, movie out as well, with a large gun in his hand, and it's an ongoing situation. But it's close to home when it is an African-American image, because we're pushing to have more African-Americans in leading roles, but we're urging it and encouraging those roles to be very positive. Uh, there is also happening this Saturday that the community is pushing to have a Black Star University. Mr. Williams, can I ask you to sum up, please? Yes, we ask for support to the Black Star University that helps uh, teach history and culture throughout the neighborhood. There's a march on the 19th that's taking place in Compton at 121st and Central that's urging unity and peace through the neighborhood. And we ask for support from this council in these activities. The final comment that I have, and that has to do with LAPD and this policy again in response to parents that's on visitation because it's constantly overlooked and it's very wrong because again promotes persons that have to go against court orders and even uh, resist the police because when you love your child, you're gonna do everything you can to have their relationship with your child. When the police fails to respond properly to parents' complaint with the intent of the law is to be sure that visitation takes place, then we have a right to have those laws enforced, and we ask this council to address uh, the problem with the police and how to respond to it, and the failure of the police commission to correct the policy that's necessary. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Williams. That does conclude. <clears throat> All right, we'll have the sergeant uh, take that material. That does conclude public comment at this, on, at this time. Madam Clerk, what is remaining? Uh, Madam President, item number nine is still on the desk, and I believe that's to be heard in closed session. Do you wish to clear the desk before going in? Let's clear the desk. Council has motions for posting and referral. They are posted and referred. There are excuses on the desk. Uh, Council Member Ludlow requests to be excused uh, for personal business August 15th. Uh, that meets Council... Councilmember Ludlow is excused on August 15th. Council President Padilla requests to be excused Tuesday, July 22nd to leave at 12.15 for city business. That also meets council policy. Councilmember Padilla is excused early on the 22nd. Councilmember Zion requests to be excused Friday, August 8th for personal business and Tuesday, August 12th for city business. Those both meet council policy. Councilmember Zion is excused on those dates. And that clears the desk for closed session. All right, we now have, we have one item on closed session. Um, um, item nine, I believe. So if we could please clear the chamber at this time, other than those who are here for item nine, the city attorney and staff.
We are back in public session. Uh, Madam Clerk. Uh, item number nine, uh, the Housing Community Development Committee report is before the council and the recommendations uh, are, uh, have been discussed on the uh, on the agenda, and the settlement is amount of five hundred sixty seven thousand one hundred ninety four thousand. Members, item nine is before us. Please open the roll. Close the roll. Tabulate the vote. Thirteen ayes, one no. That matter is approved. We'll send it forthwith. And that clears the desk, Madam President. All right, members. The desk is now clear. Are there announcements? Mr. Villaraigosa for an announcement. Madam President, is this the time when we adjourn in memory of? After, we, we normally do announcements first and then the adjourning tributes. So any announcements? I see no one for announcements. We do have, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Weiss has an announcement. I'd just like everybody to know that uh, on Sunday, Mr. LaBonge and I in Pan Pacific Park from 11 to 1 are going to be hosting um, uh, an event, a safety fair for the community. And then at 11.30, Mr. LaBonge and I are going to be hosting uh, an appreciation ceremony for the um, first responders who um, responded to the 601 Spalding Avenue plane crash uh, about a month, month or so ago. I guess it was on June 6. Um, and uh, we're going to be uh, there with a number of other folks um, paying tribute to the folks in the community uh, as well as the uh, folks in uniform who responded uh, so admirably to that, uh, that tragic uh, occurrence. That'll be this Sunday from 11 to 1 at Pan Pacific Park. Thank you, Mr. Weiss. Mr. LaBonge. Uh, yes, uh, thank you. On Saturday afternoon at uh, 4 at the Los Angeles Central Library, there's an uh, opening reception with everyone who can hear me is invited to celebrate uh, the 50th District's neighborhood of Watts and the 4th District's neighborhood of Miracle Mile and the photo program that our public library runs where their photographers were hired to uh, capture uh, the dimensions of the neighborhood and along with our great librarian Susan Kent we will host a reception at which the public is invited to uh, come and enjoy the Central Library photo exhibit photo neighborhood program saluting Watts and also the Miracle Mile. Thank you. Thank you Mr. Cardenas. Are you adjourning? Okay. Well, can I have everyone, Mr. Parks, for an announcement? I have uh, two announcements on, uh, for both of them for Saturday. The first one is a gang prevention and intervention seminar at the Rita Walters Learning Center uh, at 915 West uh, Manchester. It's uh, 8.30 in the morning to 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, it's a uh, part of a bi-monthly series on gang prevention intervention uh, for the community. And then also on Saturday, July 19th, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, at 5851 West Boulevard at the uh, large church, there's going to be a health seminar uh, from 9 to 2 p.m. Thank you. Any other announcements? If not, uh, could I ask everyone to please rise for adjourning tributes? And everyone in the chambers, please rise. Let me recognize Councilmember Cardenas. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam President. I'm sure I share with all of my colleagues uh, uh, the sadness of adjourning in the name of Celia Cruz, uh, who passed away at the age of 77. Celia Cruz, the Afro-Cuban singer, um, who rose from a humble Havana home to command half a century of Latin and dance music with her uh, um, sonorous voice and, and regal yet folksy personality died Wednesday afternoon at the Fort Lee, New Jersey home after a battle with brain cancer. She was 77 and uh, Cruz had been in poor health since undergoing surgery uh, for a brain tumor in December. Um, when you take the opportunity to read about her humble beginnings and it's really touching to know that she found her musical talent uh, as she lived in a very um, uh, financially challenged situation growing up with her brothers and sisters. There were about 12 children in the family and she would sing them lullabies and she was had such a voice that the neighbors would gather and listen to her beautiful voice and uh, someone, one of her family members entered her in a contest and, and uh, the rest is history. 
uh, but uh, she was someone that my parents who spoke very little English knew her music very well and admired it and uh, actually when Celia Cruz was singing your, your hips just would start to move. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's the rhythm and, the, and that's the touch that she had and that's the, the, the beauty of uh, what she brought to the, to the world of music and to the entire world. She was a world traveler. She was known around the world. Uh, she won various Latin Grammys and Grammy Awards and she received accolades uh, not only for her singing but her, for her personality and who she was. So uh, uh, with great regret, we adjourn in her memory. Thank you. Other tributes? Mr. LaBonge. Yes, uh, members, I just wanted to, uh, I know we all were touched uh, with the news of the tragedy in Santa Monica that could have happened anywhere, and, uh, but we know how popular farmers markets are in Southern California and our neighborhoods, uh, what they are, and there go but the grace of God. And I talked to someone last night who was there 15 minutes before the incident and worked uh, in uh, the Santa Monica area, and uh, I just think we should stand in, uh, in memory of the people of this tragedy uh, and for our city of Santa Monica, which is a great neighboring city of ours. And uh, the names of the victim uh, in today's paper, and not all of them have been identified as Gloria Gonzalez, who was 32 years old, uh, Moshe Hoffman, who was 78, uh, Leroy Latitier, who was 55, and I believe from Louisiana, and had just come out to Los Angeles last year. And in today's paper, there's wonderful stories on each of these individuals. Cindy uh, Valadares, who was three years old. Uh, Lynn Weaver, who was involved greatly with the after-school program of Arnold Schwarzenegger, 47 years old. Uh, Kevin McCarthy and his wife, Diana McCarthy, just moved from New York, I believe, recently and found their love in Southern California. And uh, I want to pronounce her name correctly, and God forgive me, but Moloch uh, Nabatian, who was 63, with her grandson, Brandon David, who was seven months. Uh, and there's one more person who has not yet uh, had the notification made properly. But that tragedy, as we see it, we run events throughout the city, all over the place, and we love our, our street scenes and our farmer's market. But that tragedy is certainly one of of great uh, challenge for San, Santa Monica and all the families who were affected by that. So I ask that we uh, stand in memory of these poor uh, individuals for the fate of took place two days ago. Thank you, Mr. LaBonge. Ms. Perry. Um, thank you very much, Madam President. I wanted to add some comments about the passing of Celia Cruz uh, because I got a very touching email this morning from a gentleman who had been in our council chamber before and his name is Albert Torres uh, from the West Coast of uh, Salceros. Uh, and he's going to the funeral uh, this Sunday and uh, he celebrates and lives the life of salsa and uh, teaches us all that salsa crosses all lines. And so her passing is especially um, poignant. And I think the neat thing about her, or the most exciting thing about her is that when her career cooled down in the 1960s, as an older person, I guess she didn't realize at the time that the hottest portion of her career was ahead of her. And I think it was very exciting for people who were growing up and not really familiar with her work to see her in the next phase of her career. And she was just a tremendous lady, a great show, always put on a great show, great voice, a lot of emotion. And I, I, I always enjoyed seeing how she dressed for uh, the Grammy Awards every year. Um, she won two Grammys and three Latin Grammys. And I guess one of her later albums, one of her last albums, La Negra Tiene Tumbao, one of, uh, won an award as the best salsa album in that year. But I just wanted to remind people that she had so many honors and so many awards during her careers and uh, that she had received the National Medal of Arts, which is the highest honor in our country, bestowed on artists. And this was bestowed upon her by President Clinton in 1994. And not to forget her family, her husband, and she had two sisters, Gladys and Dolores, and um, I'm going to call Albert when we get out of here and let him know so that he can take our uh, adjournment back to New York when he goes this Sunday. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Perry. Mr. Reyes. Yes, I'd like to adjourn the memory of uh, Joel Vasquez. He passed away July 14th. He's a longtime resident of Lincoln Heights. He's very active with Sacred Heart Church. His children attended Sacred Heart of Jesus, both the grammar school and high school and cathedral. He worked for the County of LA General Hospital for 36 years. His children, I've got, 
had the pleasure of knowing. They've been very active in the community as child care providers, working in the libraries. So his presence has been felt throughout the community in the Northeast. And um, he's survived by his children, six children and 15 grandchildren. Um, and we'll miss him. And just a few thoughts on Celia Cruz. Uh, as an African-Cuban background with such richness, when I think about the fact that in the Western Hemisphere, the most dominant language is Spanish, and her presence is such that uh, when the phrase and that note she used to sing and bring up the, the term azúcar, it really meant sugar, it meant wealth, it meant uh, richness. And when she would sing it in the middle of her uh, passages and her songs, it got everybody screaming and going. So we're going to miss that. Azúcar. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. Mr. Villaraigosa. Yes, I too rise uh, and ask that we adjourn in memory of Celia Cruz. I grew up uh, with her music. My stepfather was a Cuban-American, one of the first uh, to leave uh, Cuba uh, in the early 1960s. Uh, the many Cuban immigrants who came to Los Angeles uh, formed a community there. And when we got together and roasted pig and had moros and cristianos, which are um, uh, uh, beans and rice, uh, black beans and white rice, we did it to the music of Celia Cruz and her great orchestra, so Sonora Matancera, which, which for many of us uh, is probably the greatest uh, Cuban band ever to play Cuban music. So I join uh, Council Member Cardenas and others in a journey in her memory. Thank you. Madam Clerk, please call the roll.